Israel, Kelvin, you know exactly what I expect. I need you to fight hard, fight clean. When I say stop, please stop. If you want to touch gloves, now's the time. God bless. Oh, man, here we go. Kelvin Gastelum. Oh! <laughs> and Israel I'm Adesanya so excited. both fighting for a piece of UFC gold for the first time in their respective careers. Don't get a whole lot bigger or better than this. Here we go. With the difference in height, Gaslam is going to have to go through some stuff to close the distance on Israel. Right here in this range, though, is not safe for him. Told us he's got to overwhelm him. Certainly, to your point, DC can't stay at distance. It's interesting because Israel fights differently as a mixed martial arts fighter than he did as a kickboxer in terms of his stance selection. And he almost fights like he's in a karate movie sometimes. He does things differently. But he's constantly learning and adding to his arsenal. And one of the more interesting things he said, he said, I'm a better version of me than I was when I fought Anderson Silva. And that was just a few months ago. Right? Yeah. I mean, you see guys fighting like that now. Henry Cejudo, since he's become so successful, is in that type of stance. Hard kick to the body by the last style bender. Elusive, yep. avoids the shots by Gastelum. That left hook landed a little bit by Gastelum there. As he looped, Kelvin is throwing that right hand, and the left hook is coming behind it because he knows Israel's going to dip off to that side, I guess. Both guys just so cool and collected. So good under pressure. Yeah. Gasoline whiffs on the right hand, able to land to the body. They both look so relaxed in here. If you've never been to a UFC live event, there is an indescribable tension when there is a belt on the line. Yes. Both fighters with five round experience. Adesanya had an epic performance in the main event against Brad Tavares. Gastelum, a main event at altitude against Neil Magny in Mexico. Oh, oh he he right for Gastelum. And Adesanya retreats. That's that left hook that Gastelum's throwing off of that right hand. He must have seen it in the video. Adesanya's dipping on that side. He has some serious power in that left hand. Oh, and he goes to the body, too. And that's as much adversity that we've seen Adesanya have to this point in his career. Certainly in a striking realm. Yeah, he's, got, he's been taking some big, deep breaths. His mouth's open a little bit. He got stung. Oh, Boy, Gaslam is throwing some heat. He's throwing heat. Gaslam is throwing some heat. And he blocked that left high kick. That left hand just grazed the chin, that last one he threw. Under two minutes here to go in round one. We have to remember that Kelvin Gastelum is trained by one of the best striking coaches in the yes. world, Rafael Cordero. Yes. And Rafael has formulated a plan to deal with the style and reach of Adesanya. Gastelum almost squares up when he starts to enter. Watch, he starts to square, move his, his, his head. Throws that right hand as a feeder, really trying to land the left. Adesanya is not committing to any of his techniques right now. Woo! Kelvin, is, that, that left hand is a bomb. Adesanya continues to move that head an inch out of harm's way. One minute to go, round one. Well, what we've learned is that Kelvin Gastelum is very capable of knocking Adesanya out. Uh -huh. right. He connected with some serious bombs, and Adesanya knows that now, too. He also knows that Kelvin is drawn first blood. Right. And by and large, Adesanya's trying to touch you. Gastelum's trying to kill you with everything he throws. Gastelum with some feints here on the feet. 
And this has all been striking. We have yep. to remember that if there's an advantage that we expected from Kelvin, it would be in his grappling. Yes. And we haven't seen any of that yet. Israel's just out here making reads, though. He sees Khan's starting to get a little bit closer on some of his shots now, and he's committing to him again. And Kelvin touched him with that right hand, though. He touched him with a lead right hook. The hand speed of Kelvin Gaslam is not to be underestimated. No, he's very fast. Right here, look at this. Boom, Ooh. right hand. Left hook follows, drops at Asanya. I mean, that's a knockdown. I mean, that's a knockdown. He caught him right on the chin, he caught him on the edge of it. Imagine if that thing lands clean. Gaslam possesses some crazy power. And he has a giant head. That guy can take a tremendous <laughs> yep. punch. Good kick to the body by Israel. His coaches call for that. They say, you only threw one body kick. We want more. There's another. Quick left hand from Adesanya. He talked a lot about working the body of Gasolin, which he described as soft. Lands Beautiful. a right kick there. That, was, that one landed. That was clean. Calvin with a whipping left hand to the body. Gaslam has a big gas tank, too. As big as that head is, he's got a big <laughs> gas yep. tank, man. He does, especially at 85, when he's not compromising his body to make the weight. Lands the left hand there over the top. He's been in a lot of UFC main events. You mentioned Magny, Weidman, Bisping. Jab by Kelvin. And while Gaslam did acknowledge this as the toughest fight of his career, when you've been in there with the likes of Tim Kennedy, Chris Weidman, Jacare Souza. He fought the best, man. Not gonna be intimidated. And again, at only 27 years of age, and the mixed martial arts experience difference is really off the charts. That head kick partially oh, blocked. beautiful jab. Adesanya starting to get off a little bit more now, but Gaslam lands that big right jab. And don't think that's a normal jab, that's a power jab. The intent on that one is to hurt you. Adesanya touched Gaslam there with the left hand. Woo! Sonia born in Nigeria, trying to bring New Zealand a UFC championship. Pressure by Kelvin. It's almost like Israel can't engage him because Kelvin's so powerful. Yeah. He has to evade, stay at space. And Kelvin is making reads of Israel's head movement. And he's forcing Israel to move, and he's not throwing the punches, and he's looking to read. So some adversity now for Kelvin Gaslam. Yep. Two minutes big, to go, round two. Big right hand by Adesanya, perfectly placed. Big reset from Gaslam. Inside leg kick. Adesanya finding that range now. Right before Gaslam got hit, he stumbled on a misstep. So it put him out of position, and Israel landed. He stumbles. Out of position, Israel landed. You cannot make a mistake with a striker that's as sharp as Israel Adesanya. There's no room for error. Gaslam getting a little bit sloppy here. 90 seconds to go in the round. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Adesanya's getting going now. Ooh. You can't be reckless. If you're Gaslam, you can't be reckless. Adesanya will snipe you. Yeah, he can't get careless, and he can't overcommit. Oh, Ooh. beautiful. He stung him. That lead right hand is nasty. It's so nasty, and it's not telegraphed at all, and it's coming from low. It's yep. hard to read. 
No wind up, nothing. Oh! oh! Back elbow! Oh. oh, Calvin's in real trouble. Real trouble. And look at him. Instead of taking the step, he's still trying to go forward. He's, he's, he's going to get himself knocked out. He got to take a moment. He's going to get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. That was a beautiful elbow by Adesanya. But that's the thing about his arsenal. It's so deep. He can do so many things. Question mark kick just barely blocked. Ooh. And he lands a left hand. Adesanya appeared to eat that pretty well. Look at this. There's the grappling. Good takedown defense by Israel. Take down defense. Oh, and he tagged him. But if I'm gassing him, I'm still shooting. I'm just making him defend takedown after takedown. Try to wear on it. Wow. Wow, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at some of this. And here's a body kick early on in the fight. Left hand to the body by Kelvin. There's a beautiful jab by Kelvin. Look how it snaps the head back of Adesanya. And there's that spinning back elbow. Here's the shot that dropped him. Bink right on the chin. Yep. We'll see how Kelvin Gastelum responds here. He takes the center of the octagon. He is in green. Israel Adesanya is in black. Third round and both of them have been down. Woo. Adesanya starting to find his groove now. Now you see Kelvin with a different style. That up on the feet, light on his feet style. We've seen that many times in the past from him before. And I believe he fights better when he fights like that. What he can't do is just stay on the edge, letting Adesanya dictate. Early in the fight, he was the one dictating the engagements. Second round, Israel dictated everything. And he had all that success because of it. Well, in DC, you can speak to being on the wrong end of a reach situation. Yeah. When you're giving up eight and a half inches, you gotta be precise. You gotta just get close, man. Kelvin keeps his hands way low. He's got great vision. When Israel throws that right hand, he's moving out just a little bit of the way. But it's when it lands, when he mistimes it a little bit, is when he's getting really stung. Yeah, both guys are keeping their hands very low in this fight. A lot of feints here from Gastelum. He eats the body kick from Adesanya. All these subtle shifts in footwork. Just like Joe said, he's got an encyclopedia of knowledge in terms of striking. And right now, he's got Kelvin just guessing. And Kelvin's got to be careful as he engages like that. that. That spinning elbow is there for him. Oh, beautiful stab. Kelvin, oh, high kick. Wow. Tremendous exchange on both sides. Under three minutes here, round three. Gaslam's doing what Coach Cordero said. He said, don't stop in front of him. He's touching you because you're stopping, Kelvin. Don't stop in front of him. Head strike numbers, slight advantage for the last dial bender, 21 to 19. Adds to that total there. Oh! oh. Nice knee to the body there by Adesanya. That was a nice right hand. I mean, those right hands are landing so clean for Israel. Yeah, they're just so crisp. The timing. Look at that. You cannot. Against a good striker like that, you can't be looping punches. You got to be down the middle just like.